We got to admit it. Got to stop these black folk running around here talking about the white man did this, white man did this. You got to get that mess out of you. You ain't never going to be a productive for God. You ain't never going to be able to understand anything until you get that food. Realize that we are in trouble. You'll never call on God for help if you don't realize how difficult the situation is. As I'm starting this video, I want to tell you something. One thing that the richest man to ever lived in the face of the earth was Mansa Musa from Mali. Okay? Mansa Musa reigned from 1312 to 1337 under. His wealth was so immense that it's often described as incomprehensible by modern standards. I'm saying that because on this video, I'm going to react on this uh, pastor. He's a black pastor. He's a pastor, bishop, I don't know. But um, he is saying that the black people has never built any city. The black people has never built anything. And so help us God. Okay. Uh, it, it's, you know, he's too deep in spirits. Like, he even want to cry because uh, it's so sad how black people has not contributed to anything and we keep on complaining about uh, whites. He's saying whites are not our problem. First of all, before I continue, let's watch this video and then we go react on it as we do always. Subscribe and comment what you think. Saying that the white man stopped there ain't never been no city in Africa. There ain't never, there ain't nobody never built one. And we understand, well, why? Even here in, in New York City, even in America, there ain't no city y'all have ever built. You ain't never built no city. You ain't never built no city. And God gave you Harlem, and I tried to tell you how to hold on to that, and you ain't got no sense about that. And you need to come to terms with this. Stop this foolishness. Stop it. Stop it. You ain't never built nothing. You ain't never built nothing. That whole continent. There's not one memorial, there's not one thing standing in the entire continent. But everywhere you go to China, you go to Mexico even, you go to Brazil, and everybody's done something. There's a problem here, and we got to stop fooling ourselves and ask God to help us. Help us. Help us. We need help. The only thing we've ever done we did it because the white man gave us a platform upon which to do it. He helped us. He built schools for us and let us go. He built highways so we could travel. We got to admit it. Got to stop these black folk running around here talking about the white man did this, white man did You got to get that mess out of you. You ain't never going to be a productive for God. You ain't never going to be able to understand anything until you get that food. Realize that we are in trouble. You'll never call on God for help if you don't realize how difficult the situation is. Now, welcome back. I just want to tell my pastor first thing. Yes, black people have built something. Black people have built a city. Black people are inventors, you know? I want to say, for example, black people have built several cities and thriving cities in the uh, United States and in Africa. And uh, the one of the famous city, example of the one famous, the black city, it's called Black Wall street in Tulsa, Oklahoma, especially in Greenwood District. Now, in the, it was in the early 20th century. Now, black entrepreneurs and professionals created a prosperous and self-sustained community with businesses, schools, and churches. Despite the harsh conditions of segregation, underline that, despite the harsh conditions of segregations, these thriving areas was destroyed in the 1921 Tulsla Race Massacre when white mobs attacked the district leading to its decimation. I'm just telling my black pastor that uh, it's not black people who have not done anything. We have done a lot of things from way back. Another town that black people has built it is the town of Nicodemus, Kansas which was founded by formerly enslaved people after the Civil War in 1877. And remember, this is under harsh conditions of segregation, racism, and every, you name it. The Kansas city of Nicodemus 
uh, became a beacon of black self-determination and was one of several black founded towns in the USA during reconstruction. Now, across Africa, across Africa we have numerous cities that were built by black people or developed by black people such as uh, Timbuktu. Timbuktu was built in Mali. Okay? You get that? This was built by black people. The city of Timbuktu in Mali, which was a major center of trade, culture, and education in this world. Let me say that. Okay? We have many ancient African civilizations such as Great Zimbabwe and uh, Carthage, also created highly sophisticated urban centers. These are just few examples of uh, cities that were built by black people. So I want to tell this pastor that uh, you are wrong. You are wrong because we build things. We build cities. For example, is Timbuktu is very famous. And uh, the people, we think they are good people. The whites who came and the, 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 we think, you know, the ones who brought this, all these are uh, uh, the issue of religious that destroyed our spiritual beliefs and our, the things we build. The people we think they are good are the one who made all these people to think that black people are nothing. I want to tell uh, my pastor too, black people are the greatest, greatest inventors to ever lived in the face of the world. I'm just saying facts. I just want to uh, bring out this mentality that black people cannot do anything. That's the mentality I want to drive or drive out of the uh, out of people. George Washington Canva is one of the great inven inventors to ever lived. He developed hundreds of products using peanuts, sweet potatoes and soybeans. Okay? Canva Agriculture Research helped transform southern agriculture by promoting crop rotation and sustainable farming methods. He is also credited with improving soil health and providing alternative crops for farming. This happened by a black inventor. You get me? My pastor, I have not given your name, by the way. If you know the name of this pastor, tell me in the comment section. Now, again, we have Madam C.J. Walker, great inventor to ever lived from black community. He invented uh, hair care products and African-American women. Hair care products for African-American women. Okay? The impact that Walker had in the society, he became the first self-made black female millionaire in the USA. Her beauty empire helped improve hair and skin care for black women. You get that? Uh, you talked about building the city, but I'm giving uh, out examples of two the Africans who lived, Africans with brain. Garrett Morgan is one of the inventor that I come across. Garrett Morgan, three position traffic light that is used everywhere in China, in Europe, in Canada, in France, in everywhere in the world. We have Three light, three traffic lights. Green, red, and uh, orange, if I'm not wrong. It was invented by a black man. It's being used up to today. You get that, my pastor? Are we together? And everyone who is thinking that black people never did anything good, that we are always behind, you have to watch this video and you have to change that mentality. Okay? Mentality of poverty, mentality of backwards, mentality of low. Just do away with low mentality. We have a lot, a lot of inventors like Lewis Latimer, Granville Woods. We have uh, uh, Patricia Bards, Elijah McCoy. We have Otis Boykin and etc. etc. A lot of them. A lot of them. Okay? They are black people and they have helped to future today's world. 
traffic lights, hair care, everything, farming. Those black inventors have helped to shape today's world, the world that we are living, the world that you are thinking white people are thriving, the world that you are thinking the white people are the best, the world that you are thinking white people has built everything started with a black man. Okay? And as I started this video, I told you about the richest person to ever lived, Mansa Musa, the 14th century emperor of Mali. Mali Empire in the West Africa. Okay? Mansa Musa wealth had a gold, produ uh, gold production. Uh, Timbuktu was un under Mansa Musa and every everything. So, I'm just trying to say that uh, in despite of having uh, black people inventing things, despite of having cities built by black people, we have the world richest man to live in the face of the earth is black man. So what are you telling me, my pastor? Say that again, this video. Saying that the white man stopped. There ain't never been no city in Africa. There ain't never, there ain't nobody never built one. And we understand, well, why? Even here in, in New York City, even in America, there ain't no city y'all have ever built. You ain't never built no city. You ain't never built no city. And God gave you Harlem, and I tried to tell you how to hold on to that, and you ain't got no sense about that. And you need to come to terms with this. Stop this foolishness. Stop it. Stop it. You ain't never built nothing. You ain't never built nothing. That whole continent. There's not one memorial. There's not one thing standing in the entire continent. But everywhere you go to China, you go to Mexico even, you go to Brazil, and everybody's done something. There's a problem here. And we got to stop fooling ourselves and ask God to help us. Help us. Help us. We need help. The only thing we've ever done, we did it because the white man gave us a platform upon which to do it. He helped us. He built schools for us and let us go. He built highways so we could travel. We got to admit it. Got to stop these black folk running around here talking about the white man did this, white man did You got to get that mess out of you. You ain't never going to be a productive for God. You ain't never going to be able to understand anything until you get that food. Realize that we are in trouble. You'll never call on God for help if you don't realize how difficult the situation is. Are you sure? Are you sure black people in the entire nation have not... Black people has built Britain. Black people are, has built the United States. Some history of some countries is because of black person. Some history, your history as a black American pastor, your history is shaped by a black person. Uh, uh, name it. The history of America. Uh, come to think of it. Music. Uh, we call uh, what? Basketball. Football. Is behind the back of blackness. I was telling my my brother was telling me about the black people in the uh, England team. Um, my director, I want you to tell me the England team. Yeah, you know the England team. How many blacks do you think we have in the England team? Or if we remove all blacks in the England team, how many whites do you think they'll be playing in the England team? They're not more than five. And the more we see, more is, is what we call Foden. So as my director was telling me, if now we decide to stop black people from playing for the England team, we remain with nobody. France team? All of them are black except Greensman. So what are we trying to say? We are trying to say that the history of many countries is being shaped by black people. So the pastor, what we are saying is good. We need to pray God. We need to pray God to bring back what belongs to us. That's what we need to do. It's not that we don't have. We have everything. We are the greatest inventors, talents, music. My director, I know you don't know more about uh, musicians of USA, but if I ask you, if I ask you the one musician that comes in your mind from USA, who will you mention? Or, or from Europe, from Europe. One musician you know from Europe. Dax is a black man. <laughs> As a black history. 
Rihanna, Michael Jackson, The Rulo, The Rulo, is a, the, the Rulo, The Rulo has a black culture, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, name it, even the one who is training right now, PDD, black. Jay-Z, black. Tupac, black. 50 Cent, black. Black. You can hear that. So, <laughs> what you are trying to tell me, Pastor, is that uh, black has contributed nothing to shape the world. But we have contributed a lot. A lot. Let us just say it was under harsh condition. Imagine under harsh condition, under segregation, under racism, we still had to come out with the best. Okay? You get that. So, I believe, my pastor, what we need to do is to pray to God to bring back, to give us back what belongs to us. And that's what we need to do. I've mentioned inventors who are black. You have had them, a lot of them. I've mentioned the richest man to ever lived. My director is the one who told me about the Mansa Musa. I have mentioned about the cities you are built by the black people. You know Timbuktu. Everyone knows Timbuktu. So we don't have to say that black people, this mentality that black people cannot do anything. As a pastor, you need to preach that life You preach about life in, in, in someone's because black people, they just need a trigger. A trigger to remind them they are the best. A trigger to remind them that this mentality and brainwashing of whites that we are low, just to remove that mentality out of them. So I need, Pastor, you need to do more of, we need to do more of praying uh, uh, that to bring back what belongs to us. Because we always say in Swahili, I don't know in English, in Swahili we say, yote ambaya meliwa nanzige. Okay? Yeah. Nzige, I don't know. Nzige in English is what? Yeah. Just, we need something to restore our wealth back. So, this video, I was not condemning, but I was reacting on what the pastor said, that black people, we have never built anything. In China, everything, but we are the history of everything. It's just to praying to God to bring back what belongs to us, to give us back what belongs to us. And that's what I have to say on this video. Don't forget to subscribe, comment down there, like this video. You can be a member, a member of this uh, channel, and of course, you can, uh, you know, you can send something on the membership uh, on the super thanks. It's okay, it's okay to support a brother African way. Until next episode, peace. Be with you.